So I just wanted to say a little bit about the, the keying system on this. Um, you can see in the background uh, Bill's chart. Um, I take no credit for this whatsoever other than printing it out. Um, but um, So the lock I was picking was 101, so that was the code for it. Um, uh, without which I probably would have been flailing with this thing for hours, uh, days maybe. Um, but as you can see, 27 possible combinations for this lock and like nine of them are used total, at least the ones he's got listed, and out of a possible like 17 uh, combinations. So normally a high security lock you'd have thousands or even millions, hundreds of thousands or millions of combinations. So this is kind of a weird situation. And if you listen to Bill's video, you, you could hear that um, when the government demilled these things, in other words, made them, either was going to get rid of them or sell them uh, to the public, what they did was they got rid of the keys. That was their security measure. The key control was the security. That was the locking system. Um, there's, some, there's a really great presentation by Schuyler Town and um, uh, Datagram that you can find uh, if you search for... Um, search for uh, one of their DEF CON presentations, own the key, own the lock, or something to that effect, um, and how important it is, uh, how important the keying system is and the keys themselves are to the overall security of a lock system. So this lock is a really interesting example of that because the keying system really is all there is in the security in terms of being able to open the lock covertly. Obviously, the lock itself is a tank, um, so if you want to attack it um, destructively, you're, you're in for some fun. But I um, thought that was an interesting thing to point out and uh, a good, good uh, teaching moment. So um, get yourself one of these, have fun. And uh, again, thanks, Bill, for the, uh, the awesome lock and, uh, and everything. I thought I'd just give you a better shot. This is my relabeled version of Bill's picture, um, at least for um, lock with code uh, zero. I'm sorry, one zero one, or it'll just say zero one on the top of the lock. Um, so the ninety and the zero inverted for that one. And then I have a little shot of my uh, the little pick that I used that eventually worked for me. And you may, you know, your mileage may vary. So I just have a little shot of the the pick that I used to open this thing. Um, and uh, let's see, well, there's a storm lock pick, just for size comparison. I should have had a ruler out. Um, so it's probably a little under half an inch in length. I would have made this a little flatter. I think the length is pretty good, but I would have made that end a little flatter um, if I were making a tool specifically to manipulate this lock. But anyhow, that works great. Um, and you can open uh, lever locks with it. So, this little tip. So, my conclusions are as follows. Number one, this is this is a bitch and padlock. 